Hey guys, it's Andy from CG Dropshipping again. Today I'm gonna teach you guys how to use our app to generate order automatically for dropshipping. On this way, it will save you time and make our uh, dropshipping processing more fast, efficient, and uh, it's also very convenient to you. You need them to upload the traffic number to your store. Um, since our system will do this for you, and uh, you can also list our products to your store just by few clicks. Okay, let's go back to uh, our main purpose for this tutorial. Uh, it's about uh, how to generate drop shipping orders automatically. Let's go first, sign in. Click my CJ. Authorization. Before that, you need to make sure that your Shopify store or other e-commerce store already authorized to our app. If you didn't, click Add Store and input your store ID. Click Authorize. And this then will bring you to uh, the authorization page. After you authorized, then you will be back. You will see. So if the authorization success, then it will show up the activate and authorized. If it, it didn't uh, authorize successfully, then you can click here to check. Okay. Then we need to uh, go products because uh, you know our system only generated the orders that uh, based on the products which is from your store and uh, connected to our store or app so uh, if the product didn't connect it you know didn't connect it then the system will not generate any orders uh, from your store to our app um, unless Unless you do the, do this, okay. Um, it meant you authorized your store to our app. If you didn't uh, connect, make any connection from your store to our app, the system will generate no orders. You see, or empty. Okay, so let's uh, start uh, the product connection first. Mm, you need to add automatic connection here. Um, actually, you know, um, if it's the first time you start the product connection, here should be empty. If it's empty, then you need to uh, select store or oil store and then click scenic. Then confirm. Okay, you know, because uh, our system synced the products by cookie, so uh, you need to wait a few minutes. Actually, it's normally uh, less than two minutes, maybe just a few seconds. Then uh, you need fresh, fresh the page, and I think then the products will be uh, already showing up here. Okay, so. Uh, you need to find the products you want to work with us. Then, let's, uh, for this time, let me show you uh, our products as a testing. Uh, I choose cross necklace, okay, which already list listed uh, in one of the testing shop store of my friend. Okay, okay, search. You will check. The products already showing up here. Okay, that that means the products I want to start drop shipping with CJ. Okay, pin March. Here you need to select a keyword for these products. You know the system. This is the product from your store. You know you need you need to tell our system what the product is is it. 
Okay, then you need to select uh, keywords. You need to se select so much, you know. If you uh, make correct, then uh, click it, cancel it. Okay. Okay, confirm. You will see the system is already uh, to search the products, which is uh, which is match this those keyword on our uh, CJ. You will see a few seconds later, uh, it will show up, I think. See here, uh, it took a long time. Normally, it will not. Okay, uh, here is the product that match this must. Uh, uh, there's the products from CJ, like our PP, which is match the products from your store. Then, Click connect. Okay. Now we need to tell the system the product is bought variant. You know. So here is for variant connection. Here's for variant connection. You know. You need to tell us the variants like the color from your store and which is much or the product color from our CJ. So. Here, you know, this product is just one variant, so uh, uh, it's very easy to click here and uh, select the right, the correct uh, variant from CJ. Then you see it's connected. You no. Know? Or oh, if you don't, if you think this is incorrect, then you can disconnect it. Okay. Check a sh select a shipping method for this this variant. Like uh, if. Maybe mostly you will have a very many variant for one product will be listed here. Or at the same time, the product variants in from CJ or will also will uh, list here. Then uh, you need to con connect it one by one, one by one, one by one. Then confirm. It's showing up connect successfully. Okay, let's come go back. You see, the products are already. Exist here, which means the uh, products from your store, products from CJ already connected. Okay, um, here you can check uh, this is products the price you're selling from your store, and this is the price from CJ. You know, uh, this is only for wholesale price, you know, and uh, only product price for products, it's not about shipping, so you need to select. Uh, a country, then uh, that means the products, this product drop ship to United States by e-packet is 4.06. If it ship to another country like Australia, you will see it's 5.148. If it's shipped to Canada, here, oh, you will see it's 5.51. So you here you 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 just need to uh, select any country as a default one. You know this is just about a uh, price per price shipping price connection. Since uh, you know the our system. Uh, we'll calculate the shipping price itself. If the destination country is different, the price, the shipping price will be different. Uh, okay, here. Let's just select one of the country as a, sta as a uh, standard. You know, uh, if shipping different different country, okay, the shipping price will be different. So you 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 just need. Select one of them. Uh, if shipped by another country, the system will calculate the shipping price itself in another place. Okay, so any country select select any country here is fine. Okay, if you want to know shipping price, it's very easy. You know, here tool you can check shipping calculation. Here you will check the shipping price for from. Different measure to different country. Okay. 
um, so the products already connected. The uh, shipping price, the drop shipping price is uh, very clear. Okay, so that is the product connection is done. Okay, after that, you will you can you should go drop shipping center. Okay, here's this section section is all for uh, orders. You know, um, after you uh, products your products connected, the system should be generate orders here uh, for this product itself. Okay, since uh, since you know this this store is for testing and it's from my friend, so um, you know there's no sales come, so uh, you cannot show up here. Okay, uh, let's switch another account so you will see uh, the orders looks like. Also, come uh, my CGA and drop shipping center. You see, all the orders will be uh, generated here. Okay. Okay. So, uh, there will be some issue. Uh, maybe you think it's the error. Actually, it's not. Uh, what that means is uh, maybe you find the orders, some of the orders already exist in your store, but it, it didn't show up. On our app, it's no, it's not error. It's it should be, it should be a uh, incomplete orders. Now what that what do, what is the incomplete orders means? That means, uh, you you have uh, orders on your Shopify store, maybe other uh, other e-commerce e-commerce uh, store, and uh, there are different products in one order, you know. Uh, at the same time, you just um, you just uh, you know from connection you just connected only one product from the your store to our CJ. So that means if the orders uh, have two products, one already connected to with CJ, another one didn't connect it with CJ. So the CJ will uh, will tell you the orders orders will be here you know that means the orders to us is complete uh, is incomplete because the system systems knows only the orders that are connected with our app so if one orders have two products one is connected the other one didn't connect it so it will be showing up here what you need to do is, uh, you know, is uh, connected the products with CJ, another product with CJ, or you know, uh, you can also resubmit it, so that you means you uh, continue to process the orders with CJ. So you now this is if you didn't find the orders um, on here, it should be go here. That means the the orders is incomplete because. There are more products on one order, and you just connect one of them. Okay. So for here is orders. If you think some some of the orders have some problem, and you didn't want to us to process right now, then it's easy. You need to click select one of them. You no, know, select select them, and then cancel it. No. You need you can cancel it. Then cancel. Then see the orders will be here. Also, you can uh if you think the the problem already ready solved, then you can uh, select one any of them. Then repose it. You see the orders will come here again. Right. So um. You know, you can hold some orders, also cancel any orders that didn't need process. Okay, so uh, here we found it. That means you know some of the orders in your store already 
uh, refunded to customer. You know, this refund, this refunded order is from your store. It's not about refund from us. You know, this is refund from your store to our to your customer. Here has nothing to do with CJ. Just that maybe some of your customer complained and already asked to be found. So if we found the other, we'll be uh, showing up here. This is just the, our system is checking the status from your uh, store. It's not from, we found it uh, from us, okay? So, and then you can uh, select all the orders or select any of the orders, then add it to cart. Confirm. Then you will see the orders uh, will be come here. Char. Okay. That means you know the system will uh, will uh, put all the orders together. Just uh, uh, as one back orders. They calculate the shipping or the uh, drop shipping price for the eight for the, you know for the nine orders here. Uh, uh, 49.14 uh, for the 19 one, okay. Uh, confirm. Then you will see the orders go here. Uh, drop shipping orders and await payments. That means, you know, uh, you, can, you need to pay it. After you pay it, then uh, you, can, you can also connect, delete it if you uh, think the orders have some error or mistake, you can delete it. Uh, if you want us to process it, then you have to pay it, you know. Pay, click one unit of order and pay it. Agree. And then you see there are uh, payment issue, a payment method here. You will select any of the payment and then click pay. Then after you pay it, the orders will go here. Okay goes here and you also will be a uh, back orders like here like here almost almost showing up like here like here okay so that means you are you already pay for the orders and the waiting processing from uh, from us from CJ so uh, here it will showing up in the processing set of status and uh, you can uh, check. Um, maybe most in most of you know we will need time to process the orders. Sometimes the fastest fastest fast time is uh, processing the orders in the same day. And if the order already dispatched, then you will check here. Dispatched. That means we already ship out all orders, and uh, uh, that means. The tracking number already uh, showing up. So uh, you will check if orders uh, goes here. That means dispatch it. Then there will be a uh, uh, tracking numbers. Tracking numbers here. You there will be a back orders and you can check the uh, uh, sub orders. Then you will check tracking number will be here. Normally. The orders, if the orders status is that dispatched, you know, for dispatched, this is all, all the work or from us. We will uh, mark the orders as dispatched. You can check here. You no, know, you don't need to do anything. After processing, the status processing, you don't need to do anything. It's where go dispatched, okay? After dispatch, then you will be able to check the track number, and uh, you know the track number will be automatically uh, updated to your store, Shopify store, or other uh, e-commerce store once you are uh, authorized the store here, because you know our we can uh, update the track number to your store ourselves. You so you need you needn't to do anything, okay? After um, the order delivered or anything uh, and in other for example uh, delivered and the other status that 
that says the product the order already complete, then you just go here. So here, uh, you need to anything. You need to do anything. You you just need to uh, you can maybe you can uh, ask uh, us to uh, to do something about uh, shipping and uh, other process. You can normally here is about status. So, um, if you want to uh, check the track number, then here it will be all or or list here and already uh, updated to store. Okay. Okay. After that, you can uh, you know after this part, you know you can also uh, here. Uh, I think I will I will uh, show you up in your last uh, uh, video since you know we, we we don't have orders from our Shopify store because we we didn't do the Shopify so I will show you up. Uh, you can you know you can submit a ticket about any orders that says some. Uh, for example, your customer received a one uh, incorrect product or orders uh, delivery too long. Or orders product blocking or um, wrong delivery and anything or or or, um, or product short, then anything from your like you complain complain you got from customer, then you can you can uh, operate here. You know, just like uh, issue a ticket to us, then we will uh, we will check it and uh, if uh, if it's our fault, then we will refund or resend. If it's not our fault, then uh, you can also check AS Service Center. Since here is that means all orders uh, about the uh, deliveries, um, product problem, and uh, any like uh, shipping issue or uh, any 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 issue about after sales, like you complain you get got you know. Here you will see. So that like to like uh up after sales center, you can process all the orders here. Then we our representatives or our uh, team will know which orders, which order problem or which order issue you got from your your, your customer. Then you can uh, submit to us. Then we will you know process them. We will uh. We will to fix it and all status are here. What you need to do, you need them to do from Skype or WhatsApp or any uh, other man. You what you need to you need to do just click select, you know, this here, you no, know, or here, you no. Know, you will select which order uh, have some issue from your customer. Then you need to collect and then submit. Then we will it will be showing up here. Then we will process it. You now you can check awaiting CJ response, awaiting your response, closed or complain. You know you will see. So, uh, so here is about you will you will know you when you uh, used to to use our system you will know to process or after sales you will go here and we will know we will be processed immediately. Okay, so. Uh, this is about the uh, generate the drop shipping orders automatically uh, from app of CJ drop shipping. Okay, uh, you know this is the uh, very simple tutorial to teach you guys how to uh, use it. And uh, if you have any questions, just contact us. Contact our rep com representatives or contact me or contact any of our. Uh, people in our company, you know, so uh, let's up, uh, let's work together most smoothly. Use this app, you will uh, very, very uh, smoothly, fast, efficient, convenient to work with us uh, because all the process is no longer by CSV. Uh, and any issue orders you need to to talk with our best and spend long time, you know, 
you just need to select which or which is issue orders is it then you click select select submit then or will be shown up here just like you open uh, open dispute on Aliexpress you know okay so um, if you have an, any question or any suggestion about order processing then write to us and uh, and let us know, then we will re improve this system so that we will work more and more efficiently, smoothly. Okay, that's the tutorial uh, for the dropshipping automatic orders. Okay, thank you.